Best Connecticut's Holiday Wishes is presented by Big Y World Class Market. Welcome to Holiday Wishes. We join you once again from the beautiful Northwoods in Colchester, where we've got company. I'm Jim Altman. And I'm Sarah Cody. We are joined by the amazing Yukon Carolers. And I'm feeling kind of festive. Yeah, I think, Sarah, it's time for a jingle. Happy holidays from Fox. We are the Yukon Carolers. That sounded so great. And we're going to be hearing more from them later on in the show. You just want more from the Yukon Carolers, don't you? But do you know that there's a place in East Hampton, Connecticut, where they've made a whole business around the Christmas jingle? We take you now to Bevan Bell. It is a familiar ring especially this time of year. But did you know those Christmas clangs, a lot of those sounds synonymous with the season, are created in Connecticut? Since 1832, my great-great-great-grandfather and three of his four brothers started making bells in this town in East Hampton, Connecticut, and they've been making bells here for 181 years since then, Belltown, USA. Matt Bevan is the owner of the historic Bevan Bell Company. And it's here where the holiday ringing first reverberates. For example, it would only be half the fun to ride in a one-horse open sleigh without these. Made right here. But yeah, Santa has been a good customer of ours for many years, for generations. These are, these are ones that the Salvation Army medal. Right these are Salvation Army yeah. bells. This is the so, sound, right? The sound of the season. The sound of the season right here. This is, this is this, this should make you want to dig in your pocket and pull out something to throw in a kettle. There certainly is no shortage of holiday cheer here in East Hampton because from this factory, they make more than a million bells a year. We made the bell that gave Clarence his wings, and it's a wonderful life. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. And if you need more of this, you've come to the right place. This is, this is for all the Gotta have more cowbell. This is where they get them. I need more cowbell. We need to hook you up with one. It made national news last year when the original factory burned down. But Bevan has set up shop down the street and they found their rhythm once again. And here, the holiday wishes echo as well. And I'd love people to think about, you know, what is what they're blessed with in their lives and think about being generous, but to do something for their fellow man. Sounds of the season, Jim. What an and awesome story. Of course there's an app for that. Of course. You know, Sarah, the cultural bellwether for Connecticut is the Bushnell Theater Absolutely. in downtown Hartford. Best segue I could come up with. <laughs> Paul Marty joins us, my old friend from the Bushnell. Always good to see you, sir. And what Thank a great you. season you guys have coming up for the holidays as well. Oh, it's amazing. We still have so much holiday programming yeah. starting tomorrow, really, with Breakfast with Santa. Oh, you get nice. to bring the kids down, yeah. bring the Christmas list, sit on Santa's lap. Mrs. Santa is there as well, so it's a lot of fun. And maybe even stick around because we have the Nutmeg Ballet's Nutcracker in. Uh, the seventh and the eighth. So. I brought my boys to your Nutcracker. It's amazing. It really is. It's uh, it's one of those nice holiday traditions. You start with the family and uh, you keep doing it for years and years. And then, and then the week after, right, there's a, a choir coming, very famous. The African Children's Choir. They have been on every show. They are amazing and there's an amazing story behind it. You can find out all about them on our website, bushnell.org. But it is going to be a real festive time bringing in the African Children's Choir. Theater tickets are a great idea for a Christmas gift. Why, yes, they gift. are, yeah. Sarah, yes. And you've got the Book of Mormon coming up. That's our big show for next year. We've got a lot of Broadway shows still to come, but everyone's interested in Book of Mormon. You're interested in Book of That's Mormon. That's tops on my Christmas <laughs> list. Paul. If Jim's a good boy, maybe we'll get some tickets. <laughs> good luck with that, yeah. yeah. That's coming in uh, March 18th. We have it for two weeks, so there's lots of opportunity for tickets. It's selling really, really well, but good tickets are still available. We don't want anybody to think it's sold out yet but it probably will be by the time we get there, so best to get your tickets early. It's the hottest show on Broadway now, and it's coming to the Bushnell for two weeks. It coming to the Bushnell for two weeks, yes, yeah. We're the first uh, theater to have it in Connecticut, so we're real excited about that. Well, thanks so much for joining us, Paul. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. And I actually caught up with some young thespians right around the corner in Newington who are preparing for a very special holiday performance. Today is a very special day. 
Young actors have been rehearsing like crazy for the Newington Children's Theater Company holiday production of Babes in Toyland. Based on the popular operetta, the charming musical tale revolves around beloved Mother Goose characters. Get ready for villains, heroes, tragedy, and triumph. NCTC Connecticut's oldest children's theater aims to inspire creativity and appreciation for the arts while providing families an affordable way to enjoy live entertainment. Participants of Babes in Toyland say it's festive fun for everyone, brought to life by a dedicated cast. We have two casts of children, um, totaling about 54, from over 10 different towns. We have um, kids as young as five and as old as 12. It's an excellent production. It's a great family um, play. You should definitely bring your friends. It's really amazing. Oh dear, will he be okay? Performances run from December 6th through the 15th on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays at the NCTC Performing Arts Center on North Mountain Road in Newington. Well, from babes in Toyland to teens in Colchester, here with the Yukon Carolers and Ian Maxwell, a Yukon sophomore. Ian, good to see you. Thanks for having us. The leader of the Yukon Carolers, you started, what, last year, Ian? Yep, we are a brand new group of the University of Connecticut. So if we want to see you guys, how do we go out and do that? Best way to do that, check out our Facebook page. You'll see all of our gigs up there. Absolutely. You're five strong here today, but there's actually more students in the group. There's 13 students in total this year. Can you sing something for us now? We absolutely can. Fantastic. Prop. Here's a hint. Two, three, four. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. <laughs> Bells on bobtail ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Now the ground is white, go it while you're young. Take the girls tonight and sing this slaying song. Just get a bobtail nag, 244 is speed. Then hitch into an open sleigh and crack, you'll take the lead. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Time is ticking, and I have some great holiday ideas for you coming up. Fox Connecticut's Holiday Wishes is presented by Big Y World Class Market. Fox Connecticut's Holiday Wishes is presented by Big Y World Class Market. Welcome back. December means lots and lots of holiday parties, and it's always nice to bring a hostess gift along when you head over to a friend's house. We're here with Brittany Baranowski, the manager at Giftology in West Hartford's Blueback Square. Thanks so much for joining us. What do you suggest we bring along to a friend's house? It's a nice tradition. One of my favorites are these Pat Barker hand-painted uh, glasses. We have the margarita glass, we have the shot glasses, and she can even custom um, paint as well. So Giftology really carries a lot of jewelry now, like the jewelry you're wearing. We have Story by Kranz and Ziegler. This is actually a genuine snakeskin. They do come in lambskin leather as well, as well as the cut gemstones. And one of my favorites, Alex and Ani. Oh, they're so popular now, aren't they? they yes, they're, and they're all about positive energy. You can just stack all those bangles on your, on your wrist, and you have all different sorts of stories to tell. Is that correct? Yes, you can. They even have Charity by Design bangles that donate 20% per charity per bracelet sold. Now, I've never seen a candle that looks quite like this. These are lifetime candles. They're made in Arkansas, and anything that's a natural element there has been preserved. What you do is you heat the marble with a hairdryer. The marble comes off, and everyone we send home with a fiberglass wick. The wick never burns down, and the candles are refillable with a scent-free oil, so that they're perfect gifts if you're not quite sure what kind of scent they would right. like. It's a really beautiful decoration, too. I mean, it looks nice on a table or in a living room. Beautiful. 
I've also never seen a bowl quite like this. You can actually switch out the decoration to fit the holiday. Nora Fleming was very clever in coming up with a concept that you can switch the decorations on the bowl for every occasion. Giftology is really known for the beautiful packaging, the blue tissue and the wrapping paper. We complimentary gift package all year round as well. Thanks so much, Brittany, for the great inspiration. And I headed to Guilford to demonstrate another unique gift idea, one that will really keep you on your toes. Want to tap into Fred and Ginger's magic this holiday season? Head to Arthur Murray Dance Studios. So Peter, I'm kind of a klutz and I don't know anything about dancing. Can you really make me a dancer? Absolutely. You'll be spinning and dipping before you know it. Lesson one, the elegant foxtrot. Start with your right foot okay. and you're going to walk backwards twice. Okay. One, two, and then you're just going to go to the side and close. Believe it or not, that's it. We always traditionally, we invite her to dance. Okay. She comes towards us and he will hold you at your shoulder blade. Okay. We don't do, you know, that's, that's like eighth grade prom. So okay. we want to keep it up here. This <laughs> yeah. has really good control. Get the feel for it. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Trust the leader and don't think too much. One, two, side close. And again, one. Uh, where are you staring? I don't know. Side close. <laughs> You've got it though. Knowing some steps is impressive at a holiday party. Dance lessons are also a great gift idea. In this state, if there's two million people, half of them are women, all of them would want dance lessons for Christmas. Okay, so that was a very classic dance, but you also have sort of a modern step for me? Well, yeah, we like to do different tempos, so we're actually gonna do a hustle, but okay. not, not disco hustle. Okay. And then no, no John no. Travolta stuff. <laughs> no thumbs? I know you're like, I know that one. <laughs> Your part is a back, rock, step, step. Back, rock, step, step. Add a partner and relax. So just like an elastic band, the more we pull it, the more it goes. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. I don't know where I am. No, you don't need to. <laughs> okay. It's time to get fancy. Good. And then I go. All right. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. And you go. Okay. Yep. Now we're going to add one final thing that every lady loves okay. and every man loves. Do you know why? Is it a dip? I did not did tell it? you to say that. <laughs> Are there fumbles? For sure. But that's all part of the fun. I've never had anyone not be able to. All right. <laughs> Is I just dipping myself? Yes. Oh, but sorry. That, as soon as a lady learns how to dip, everything's a so dip. Excited. When you're over that fear, dancing will change your life. Our slogan tends to be we're changing people's lives through dancing. That's what we say every day. I'm a believer. So let's just keep on dancing right through the new year. Look at me. Look at me. Ah! Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> and relax. There you go. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Rachel Lutzker for Holiday Wishes with my own ideas for holiday giving and time is ticking, so let's go. Dan, thanks so much for showing me around. So we're gonna start small. The clocks make a great gift idea and these are great for gift giving. They are, it makes a great personal gift. Um, little clocks uh, work well in a uh, bathroom uh, if you don't have a wall clock. Uh, we sell a lot of them uh, for that purpose, a kitchen counter. And there's a wide selection and different sizes when it comes to personal clocks. Now these clocks make great gifts for the family, a focal piece on top of the mantle. Yes, and a, a clock like this is actually uh, heirloom quality. You wind it once a week, and the fun part is it, it actually has hammers that strike chime rods that produce the sound and is a clock that will be handed down through the generations, and I think that's great fun. And lots of choices when it comes to wall clocks, from the kitchen, to the kids' room, to the office. Now, of course, we have to take a look at this amazing grandfather clock. This is my favorite thing to sell, are the grandfather clocks. It's just so much fun when I deliver them to watch the excitement and the family standing around uh, while I go over what one needs to do on a weekly basis to keep it running. Now, you have a lot of styles here, right? Uh, we do, from contemporary to a traditional piece like this one, which happens to be one of the taller ones, and they do come shorter for uh, the fit any home. Really. It's definitely a piece that stays in the family for years. And what's this on the side? It's like a time capsule. And you actually keep a record of everyone that owns the clock. And in 500 years, 
how much fun is it to open it up and show your children that, you know, that their great, great, great grandfather purchased it and then the family history of the clock. Certainly a very special piece to keep along with it. Dan, thanks so much for showing us around. Thank you. Happy holidays. To you too. So what's your strategy for the holiday season? Well, we've got just the guy for the job. Coach? And it's coming up on Holiday Wishes. Fox Connecticut's Holiday Wishes is presented by Big Y World Class Market. Fox Connecticut's Holiday Wishes is presented by Big Y World Class Market. Welcome back. Now, I cannot sing like the Yukon Carolers That's can, true. and I absolutely can't cook. You know also that. True, yes. Right. So we have an expert here. It's Chef Mike Vertek from Big Y. I could sing the Big Y jingle. Oh, you can? From home to your neighborhood, world-class <laughs> market, Big Y. Mike, am I right? Absolutely. That was perfect. <laughs> I'm a gold coin recipient. <laughs> well, Mike is going to show us a fail-safe recipe for a holiday appetizer. Yes, Oysters Rockefeller, which is a classic. It's an easy recipe to make. My brother used to make them, and now it's been handed down to me. But it's also sort of fancy and sort of elegant for the holiday. You want to try to pull out something that's a little luxurious or something that is, yes. you know, from, from from the past that you you know that you have fond memories of and this is definitely one of those things. A recipe Mike that it originated in New Orleans, right? Antoine's. Antoine's in New Orleans. Famous restaurant. A famous restaurant, famous restaurateur and also it's the dish is famous. I mean it's just Oyster Rockefeller, there's so many versions of it, but his version was said to be the original and it was a guarded recipe so that even, you know, later on people were trying to figure out what was in it, what was put in it, and it was never divulged. You wouldn't you wouldn't tell it. But we're divulging the big Y version of this right now. Now I'm worried about the oyster. How do you open it? With an oyster knife? And the safest way is under two towels the way I do it. Sometimes they come easy with the first try. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Yeah, and then you just pop the top. Okay. There's one muscle at the top. And you try not to hit the inside so it stays intact. Alternatively, you can you can steam them. Big Y has the fresh seafood that we're all looking for. These are from Westport, Connecticut. Save the other shell. Save the other shell. This one you can use to fill again when you make more for your guests because they're going to want more. This topping has a lot of flavor in it, very rich. The topping is spinach and... Spinach, watercress, scallion, uh, the Pernod. Pernod is that anise-flavored French liqueur, and it gives a great flavor to the, to the oysters. It smells like licorice. They don't really cook for very long. Uh, they only go in the oven, preheat the oven to 450, and they take 12 minutes. All right, so I'm ready to sample one. They look so beautiful. I'll take one, Mike. And you can find this recipe online? Yes, the recipe can be, it will be on bigwide.com. Oh, it was so good. Thank you so much for joining us, Mike. Excellent, Mike. Thanks very much. Now, if you need a little more coaching with your Christmas cuisine, we've got the place for you and a guy you probably recognize. Right now, let's head out to Stores, Connecticut. Happy holidays. Good to see you. Thanks, Jim. How are Beautiful you? Beautiful to be here at Gino's Grill. Yep. Six months you're open. There is now nightlife in Stores, Connecticut. Yeah, there is. I mean, there always was. It was just a little bit different atmosphere than we've got here. And uh, we try to create a place that gives you a, a sense of maybe you're in West Hartford. You know, we've got this store center. We've got stores and shops and apartments. And, and, and now uh, we got Gino's Grill. And now we got Gino's Grill. Let's take a yep. look around. Absolutely. We've got some of our wines from uh, from Italy. We've got uh, some California cabs and uh, uh, Northern Italy Barolos. It's mostly uh, an Italian wine list um, to kind of complement the food. What's the best bottle of Gino I can get right now? The Puglia Rosso is what I like to drink. I mean, you were born in Italy, Coach. Yeah, yeah. And it's all about food, right? I mean, this is I the think cornerstone it's about, of your upbringing, right? It's it's uh, it's about food and food and wine and, and more than anything it's just about getting together. You know what Southern Italy where I grew up the, the, the food is very very simple, very basic, not too complicated and that's kind of how we try to make them here you know we're not um, you know we're not a four-star French restaurant you know in New York City. Those are the famous meatballs right there Coach. Yeah they are. A lot going on Chef. Oh yeah. Does he coach you at all or are you, are you the boss? Uh, he's the boss. <laughs> not back here. 
<laughs> Not back here. Back here, you're the boss. Not back here. This is what you always wanted to do. This coach. is what we always wanted to do. Can I? That's that's an interesting point though because you've won one, two, three, eight national champions yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, don't get me wrong. I wanted to do that too, <laughs> but this is something I wanted to do uh, because I've always enjoyed it. I've always enjoyed uh, the hubbub of, of, of being in places like this, and I've always kind of look forward to meeting people at a restaurant and meeting people uh, for dinner or just for hanging out. Um, uh, that's, that's kind of been my life, just hanging out, with, you know, with friends. All right, Coach, the place looks great. Happy yeah. holidays to you. You know, my table's ready. Hey, I got to go. Go go eat, man. I'll be working. I'll check on you in a little bit. All right, you guys are celebrating what? Almost the end of the sem uh, almost the end of the semester, yeah, and that's yours. Cheers, happy holidays, Coach. Well played. I think now I'm officially in the holiday spirit. I absolutely agree, and it's a busy time. So for your complete holiday guide, head to current.com/wishes. This was fun. Let's hear some more caroling. Absolutely. UConn carolers, go to it. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings to you wherever you are, good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now bring us some figgy pudding, now bring us some figgy pudding, now bring us some figgy pudding, and bring some in here. Good tidings to you, wherever you are. Good tidings for Christmas and a happy new year. We won't go until we get some, we won't go until we get some, we won't.